Hello guys and welcome to season 2 of the NRC Logitech Cup Series. So we are underway in season 2 with a shootout. Mark Matthews and Nick Nauman are your front row. And as you guys may have known, if you guys watched the um, uh, drawing for the shootout, you guys saw that these 21 drivers um, out were um, put into the race by random.org. <laughs> so... Um, He's not in the he's not in the shootout, but uh, the 44 of m that was my car. I gave it to Zach Campbell since he did miss the nationwide sign-up, so I'd figure, hey, just give him the cup car because I feel like it. But um, yeah, so ready to get uh, kick off the season with a little uh, Daytona um, shootout as Mark Matthews starts on the pole. Look at your starting lineup. Should be a very exciting one this season. Um, I had a lot of new guys, as you can see by the R's next to everyone's name. Um, Hank Parker the third, one of them. Sam Constantine, Mark LeBlanc Jr., Danny Everett, um, John McNamara, Jacob Sisko, uh, Jake Schooley, and Mark Matthews, all that are in. Oh, and Adam Kim. Sorry about that. But gets the command for the first time. Drivers, start your engines. What a good command that was. Pretty boring, if you ask me, though. And they're gonna roll off. But just like when we talked about the transporter, at the end of pit road, the last pit box is a timing line. So the last white line on pit exit is the line. Big thumbs up, my friend. Have a good time. Alright, so I just skipped it a little bit, so we don't have to... Since this is a 2.5-mile uh, track... Anyway, so, here's your starting lineup. Jake Schooley starting third, Drew Austin fourth, Jacob Sisko fifth, John McNamara sixth, Jacob Sisko, um, fail, I think, right? No. Did I fail that? I don't know, but fail. <laughs> anyway, this is your starting lineup. All right, so Robert Pollard did t um, put uh, go in for time Pollard for the shootout um, issues, and um, time could not be able to be in the series. He had uh, uh, some things come up, but anyway, Mark Matthews is going to start on the pole. He's going to lead them to the green flag for the first time in season two for the Lodge Tech Cup series. We're excited to get season two underway here. Season one was a um was a thriller. Look at this, Mark Matthews. Who's gonna lead the first lap of season two for the Logitech Cup series? But as I was saying, um, Tom Gerard, w the um, the one car, Tom Gerard, Mr. Gerard, um, driver of the one car. He won um, the championship over Drew Austin, who is in this race in that nine Dodge over there, right behind his teammate Nick Nileman. But anyway, it was a good battle all the way down to Homestead. And um, as we complete one lap here, it's going to be Jake Schooley leading the first lap of season two. Now, the top five start the Daytona. 500 or the Daytona race, whatever, um, in that f uh, one through five spot. So say Jake Schooley wins, Jacob Sisko second, Matthews third, Nileman fourth, and uh, Adam Kim fifth. That will be the starting five for um, the um, Daytona race, race number one. But look at this. We actually have a lot of rookies. Uh, let me double check and count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Over half these guys in the shootout are rookies. So they're getting their feel of the car for the new season. Such as Jake Schooley, Jacob Sisko, Danny Everett, Mark Matthews, Adam Kim. And these are new cars though. So even the veterans are going to have to get... Um, get kind of used to this too such as Robert Pollard they're just a little bit different the aerodynamics change just a little bit but as you see Jake Schooley led a lap led the lap once again <laughs> I 
kind of just getting a run through the field here. And now Danny Everett's out in front. Now this is really just for top five spots. Um, to see who's going to get each spot in the um, Daytona race. And this should be very interesting. Um, like we said, we're going to see high speeds here. Like we said right now, like we see right now, 200 miles an hour. That's crazy. I remember uh, race one of the Lego Cup series. Um, that was um that was a fun series, guys. I really enjoyed it, and I'm hoping to enjoy the um, Logitech Cup series season two, and definitely the Oregon Nationwide series. But I think I might stop it at two seasons until I can probably find a better mod. Because I'm all the way at NWS 13. So I'm kind of thinking of either going to my NWS 11, like real NWS 11 mod, or um, kind of just um, finding a different mod. Maybe like a, 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 pa a past mod, like a 2005 one or something. But anyway, Danny Everett leads, followed by Season 1 champ, Tom Gerard. Look at this. Now, Caleb Button gets a run on him, and he'll go to the bottom. Tom Gerard will lose a couple positions because he does have no help as a, on the high side. Danny Everett's going to lead once again. Another lap. Three rookies right now. Actually, excuse me, four rookies. Sam Constantine in that 31 singular Chevrolet. And... Can anyone catch Danny Everett? And will we see pit stops? We might see pit stops. Um, I did change it to 2x. So it should be uh, pit stops pretty much almost every race. So it should uh, spice things up a little bit. And look at this. We might have a new leader. Teammates swapping positions. Kayla Button to the lead. And I'm going to try this, ladies and gentlemen. So right now, Caleb Button has the lead. He's going to lead a lap. But it doesn't matter right now. It matters what, you are, what you're at at lap 24 crossing the line. Since um, the po there's no points for the shootout. But come, when it comes Daytona time, there's going to be points. <laughs> but Caleb Button has the lead. Followed by Hank Parker III, Austin Ogo, Lily Murphy, that's Robert Pollard and then uh, Danny Everett. But look at this, Austin Ogo in to the bottom of Hank Parker. What was Lily Murphy doing? She had an open spot to the low side, and and um, Austin Ogo and Amy Shelley, who is not in this series, um, unfortunately ended Drew Austin's um, chance of winning a championship. Where is that guy at? There he is. We're right on board with him. We're right on board with him going into um, until coming on a backstretch. So he lost his season hopes, uh, um, and it gave it was given to Chom Gerard. So he he was very angry about that. But look at this from season one: a dominant driver, Robert Pollard, to second, John McNamara. A um, excuse me. Uh, a first-time Cup driver. All looking f to see where they can go. Could we see um, Tom Gerard go two in a row, or could we see a new guy that maybe a rookie or maybe someone from last season win the championship? Nationwide Series was also a thriller. William Duncan did win the championship. Um. He was happy about that. Three years of trying in off series. And he finally got what he wanted. That marvelous championship. But look at this. John McNamara to second. Followed by him behind him is Jacob Sisko. <laughs> Ten laps are gonna be complete here. Robert Pollard goes behind these three cars. And um, followed by Robert is Michael Wagner. Michael had a good season towards the end, winning at Vegas and then getting a few top fives 
in top tens here and there at the end of the season. I think finishing ninth. But I don't think Drew Austin will forget season one of the Cup Series. I don't think he won't. But look at this. Jacob Sisko pushing John McNamara. But he's going to get a draft off him. There's going to be three wide for the lead. It's going to be three wide coming off turn four. Caleb Button way on the high side. He'll drop back to fourth, I believe. And Jacob Sisko looks to try and block. But he thinks um, he, McNamara is too close to him. And we have some three wide action back here, too. <coughs> And look at this, Robert Paul is to the inside. He's going to take the lead. And we're starting to see some three-wide action. Listen to that crowd if you can over my loud voice. I'm sorry, I'm just very energetic. And the Robert Pollard is now your leader. Now, leading a lap is very crucial. Especially when it comes down to the chase at uh, race at the end of at the start of race 16 is the chase at Chicago. That's when it gets real interesting, you guys. Um, we didn't have a chase last season, only because I didn't have my own point system, and um, Score4 didn't uh, want to have me have a, a chase. So we had to do it the old-fashioned way. But anyway, a 10-race chase. Obviously, heading it, ending it out at Homestead. And also, we have, some, we have a showdown and an all-star race. If we get... Um, if we get 10 different winners this season, it'd be pretty crazy. But anyway, if we do not get 10 different winners this season, since the showdown and the all-star race are after race 10 at Darlington, um, we will, uh, it will determine on how many people will make the shootout, or the showdown, and how many people um, will be eligible to make it. So if we get nine winners, if we get nine different winners, and someone wins twice, we'll have um, three people uh, compete for the championship, or compete for the all-star race in the showdown. Um, we will only have the top um, 15 in points uh, make it into the uh, showdown. So, I uh, know, excuse me, there's going to be top 20. So there's going to be 20 cars into the showdown. Who are going to be eligible to make it? Or actually, oh yeah, no one's, no, all one's going to make the All Star race. Fail. <laughs> I'll think that through. I'll let you guys know of it for sure when we get to it. But um, for right now, we're we're only at the shootout, guys. So it's going to take a while before we get to the um, to the All Star race in race ten. <sighs> Adam Kim is your leader right now. Paula by behind Adam is Nick Nauman. Tom Gerard and Vincent Velez fighting for third. Behind them is uh, Stephen Paul III and Mark Matthews. Charles Sanford, Robert Pollard. And the rest of the field going three wide. Now we got, uh, I think I see 200 cars in this. Yeah, 200 cars in this. And uh, I believe three Roush, six, sixteen, and seventeen. Yep, and they got that. Um, got the Wood Brothers there too, supporting the Wood Brothers. Um, right there, trying to help them get a championship. Maybe Robert Paul is gonna go for his first. And look at this. This guy, this this guy right here. Last time they raced here in Daytona, he won. So he's looking to do it again, but we see pit stops. We will see pit stops, and Sanford is one of them. Five people go in. They are Adam Kim, Charles Sanford, James Shelley, Austin Ogo, and Danny Everett. So we will see pit stops. If a caution does not come out, will we see pit stops from everybody, or will they save enough fuel to win the race? But Tom Gerard and Mark Matthews are out in front. I don't know if they might have pit on the perfect time though, but they are taking four tires and fuel. Or maybe just right sides, I don't know. Oh, they're just taking rights. Oh, look at that, Adam Kim. Adam Kim first off, Charles Sanford second, James Shelley. And the same way they came in, 
They're coming out. So are they going to be a lap down? No, everyone else is pitting. So this may be your top five going starting um the 500 or the Daytona race. I'm just going to say the 500. Oh, look at that. Drew Austin and um, Michael Wagner trying to get Michael trying to get into his pit box. Um, had to make a little contact with uh, Drew Austin to get it. And Mark Matthews starting on that pole spot gets that um gets that front pit uh, the first pit box. But Adam Kim could anybody catch Adam Kim? Charles Sanford May, Shane Shelley, Austin Ogo, Danny Everett. Who will it be? Mark Matthews is the first driver out. And look at this. This is gonna change up everything, ladies and gentlemen. They just they are lapping. These drivers. They are lapping them. They pit at the right time. But look at this. Sanford's closing. You can tell. Look at this. Now, um, it looks like, yeah, James Shelley. I, don't, I just totally messed up the name. I totally drew a blank on his name. Are they going to go three wide? No. But will Lily Murphy and the rest of the field, or the rest of the guys in front of him, slow him up? I don't think it will, but James Shelley and Adam Kim are side by side for the lead. My bad, we got four Roush cars. Look at this, Sanford tries to move for second, but Lily blocks. What is she doing? What is Lily Murphy doing? She should not be doing this right now. She is attempting to block these guys. She's not even fighting for the lead. I don't know. What is she doing? <laughs> Looks like Sanford maybe is trying to get a run off of her. And then get a run off of James Shelley. And that's exactly what he's doing. Now look at this. It's going to get chaotic up right here. <laughs> oh my god. Michael's still in the pit. Is he out of the race? Wow, what happened? And look at that, James Shelley and Charles Sanford. They are, um... I just, like, drew a blank again. Um, <laughs> Actually, they are not a lap down. I was wrong. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh-huh. <laughs> Tom Gerard is actually your leader. Are you kidding me? I was not looking at the standings. So they... What? So Stephen Pollard III is actually out in front. So my bad about Lily... Me talking about Lily like that. I'm sorry. I was... I, I don't know. This is season two, guys. I should be better at this. But anyway. Adam Kim looking to try and take away from Stephen Pollard III. Ooh, man, we have five to go here. Who is it gonna be? It's these nine cars. But look who's look who's here. They are not really close to them, but they could sure catch up to them. It's gonna be tough, very tough. But who is it gonna be? Look at this, Adam Kim and James Shelley to the bottom. Adam Kim's gonna take the lead with four to go, coming down to the stripe. So, James Shelley second, Charles Sanford on the bottom, trying to fight for third with Stephen Pollard the third. He'll get it, though. But will Charles gain more position since he's on that bottom, on that low side? Lee Murphy looking to help, and Tom Gerard trying to find a way, trying to find a way to pass. I think they may have enough time, though, to, um... To be able to try and take the lead. Even Vincent Velez or Mark Matthews could win this. But anyway, we have three to go here. No more pit stops. So it's going to go all out. Look at this. Sanford to the bottom of James Shelley. He's going to go for second. Look at that. The crowd is going wild for Charles. He's right behind Adam. But Lily Murphy looks to the bottom. But she will not get a chance. 
We'll ride in a helicopter and show you the margin between all these drivers. And look at this! Three wide for the lead! Lily Murphy to the bottom! Lily probably played that out perfectly, but we're rounding up to two to go here. Lily blocks on the high side, then comes back down low, pulling a David Reagan in Talladega. But look at this! Tom Gerard! Me said he might not even win this race. Look at him! He's on the he's on the low side going for second. Who's gonna get the top five to go? Start in that position in the five hundred or whatever. Say the five hundred, whatever you want, I don't care. Who? Tom Gerard second, Lily Murphy first, James Shelley and Vincent Velez fighting for third. They want those spots. Lily Murphy not looking in the best position to win this though. Charles Sanford not even looking good to get a, um probably into the top five. White flag is out. One to go here in Daytona. It's gonna be an exciting finish. Tom Gerard could he f um pick up where he left off, winning the championship, and could he start off the season with a win? He's right behind leader Lily Murphy. He has a shot. But Sanford is all the way in the back. Shelly's not going to get it either. Are they, they're not going to wreck, though. Michael back in the pits. What is going on with his car? Look at this! Tom Gerard to the bottom! Tom Gerard goes to the bottom! This is going to probably be your top five here, unless Vincent Velez drops out. Coming back to the white, or coming back to the checkered flag here. Tom Gerard's going to pick up where he left off and win here at Daytona. And Mark Matthews just edged out Vincent Vel What? Oh, never mind. N Nick Nileman finished up sixth, came that close to finishing. Sanford f up ends up ninth. So here are your official results. Um, congrats to Lily, or excuse me, Tom Gerard, for picking up where he left off and winning the race. Congratulations to Tom. We'll see you guys in Daytona for the Nationwide Series.